Talking about her life until my sentence is up. I'm gonna let my sentence in and I'm leaving. God will take me when he's ready. And if somebody kills me ahead of time, I get an early retirement. <laughs> How are you gonna rock it though? What's huh? Your, what's your what's your What's my what's my What's your motivation in this Shakespearean tragedy? Well if my Shakespearean tragedy was to be flipped. Okay, these these beings say that when I go, they're gonna be waiting at the doorway or whatever where your soul goes. Yeah. And they say if there's any way possible they can do it, they're gonna be at that doorway waiting for me on the side and snatch me. They say they but if they can get me, they're taking me home where they live. And if they do that, they said they're gonna they're gonna install me into one of them. In other words, I'll be born as a slave. It may be 350,000 years from now, I'll be one of the babies on one of their worlds. Just floating around, looking back down at Earth saying, you mean to tell me I actually used to live there? How crude. <laughs> but while I'm here, I'm one, of the, I'm one of the boys, so to speak. I'm just one of the, one of the, one of the groups. I'm going to try the best I can to live where I can. Scare everybody's real. Don't hurt nobody. <coughs> and the truth is, I don't want to hurt nobody. But follow the truth. But follow the truth and try to keep myself from doing what, what I know is wrong and try to do what I think is right. I mean, I, I've had stages where people wanted to, wanted to sort of fight with me. And by nature, I have a very highly aggressive alter ego. And the point, the point, the point in front of that is the celestial always gets in there and they intervene. Because I wanted to. One guy actually brought that out. Okay, I was born and I grew up in Kentucky and I had to beat up kids for sport. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, but when that tries to happen to me, a celestial steps in and say, look, this is not the way you want to go. Okay, because I, I mean, I, I hit a guy once and knocked him over a car. And, and all he did was something that was, was, was pissed me off. Because yeah, yeah. I felt bad. You know what he, you know what he, what he did? I had, this was when we were kids. I had friends that I thought were my friends. And I would either buy things for them. I used to go out and buy a cake, root beer, and soda water, and we'd have a little party in the backyard. Just normal kids, though. As you say, I bought a root beer, soda water, a big coffee, I bought a, a, a coconut cake, and I went to the house to get some glasses so I could finish pouring the drinks. And I had already poured a couple of them, and one of them was mine. I had already took a sip out of it. And when I came back out of the yard, one of these so-called friends had give the, the yeah. and spit a big glob of hog spit in my glass of, of juice, calling it a joke that, that making me hard to laugh about. I came out there was just about to take a sip out of my drink when I had poured the other juices, and I happened to see this floating around in there. So I didn't drink, and I looked at this and said, why? Why did they, somebody do something stupid as this? And then, then, then everybody else was laughing. They said they told to the person who did it. Is that the last time you flashed on someone? Huh? That's the last time. No, that's the second. That's only the first time. The first, the second time was when somebody hit my hit my dog. I had this big old beautiful Malamute, and some guy she accidentally got off her leash and ran across the street trying to go home. Get to the house. She she slipped her collar and was, was running back to the house. She wasn't trying to get away because she wanted to just run all over the neighborhood. She wanted to go home, so she got off leash and ran through out and somebody in the car hit her and knocked her on the sidewalk. He stopped and got on the car and talked to me and then he said he wanted to go make a phone call and then he would talk to me about afterwards about what needed to be done. He went in my neighbor's house that lived right, right, right next to me, right down the street here. So they were in there for about an hour and a half and nobody came back to just talk to me. So I said, this is taking too long for somebody to just talk about he's going to make a phone call. So I went up and knocked on the door and told him I needed to talk to him about what, what I needed with my dog, an emergency medical attention that she needed. Uh -huh. My neighbor said that the guy didn't want to talk to me and that I, he wanted me to get off his stairs. And then I said, no, I said, this happened. what's this got to do with you? I need to talk to that man. I tried to be civilized about it, but instead he tried to push me off the stairs. So I backside stepped on him and went, bam, knocked him down with one punch. And then somebody off the street saw it and got out of the car and came up the stairs and grabbed me and, she, and had me holding me. And while he got up and they talked about what they're going to do about it. I called the police or so, something that was their fault to begin with. What did the source of the have to say about all this? They tried to stop it, but it was too late for that. They knew why it wouldn't stop. The guy hit my dog. A, a, a creature that was only a dog to anybody but to me. The, my dog was my friend. My dog was my companion. The dog 
traveling with me in the roadway of life, the dog took care of me. Regardless how anybody else felt, that dog meant more to me than that man could have totally imagined. And he hit the dog, he tried to avoid the issue of doing something about what he did by having hiding behind another person and not doing what was right. Was your dog all right? My dog turned out to be all right. She, she survived it. But the fact is, she could have been internally bleeding. I didn't know that. I don't know if that dog had internal bleeding and stuff. All I wanted was to take her and have her checked out by one of them all-night emergency hospitals for veterinary and stuff. And he tried to stop that by avoiding and letting this guy hide out in his house so he wouldn't have to talk to him until I finally would go away. That wasn't going to happen. So when he wouldn't let me talk to him and he tried to push me up the stairs, Mr. Hyde came out. The part of me that is the it, the monster from the it. Everybody has one. It's the part of you that's a super conscious mind that takes over when your mind needs to have that thing it needs to do to do what it needs to do. He wasn't going to let it happen the way it would happen, so when he tried to shove me, and I wasn't trying to be violent, I only wanted to talk to the guy. I wouldn't even try to fight when I said I just wanted to let the guy come and talk to me. He wouldn't do that. And that's pretty much the last time then, huh? No, that with, the, with that guy with the, with, the, with the drink, that was the only time. Those were the two incidents. And I hit him. At first, I chased him, tried to catch him. He tried to jump on the fridge. I snatched him out of the fridge and, and threw him on the ground. Then he tried to run, he ran out the gate, and I chased him out there. And when I caught up with him, he was next to a car. And I went, bam, knocked him over the top of the car, and he rolled on the other side. And did they condone your behavior? Oh, everybody wasn't condoning your behavior because, I mean... They, were they okay with what about your... Nothing really happened. I, I mean, after it happened, I hit him one time and I didn't go and try to beat him into the, into the dust. But I was pissed off enough to hit him that one time and let him know what he did was unacceptable. After that, I pretty much tried to help him. Mm -hmm. I, I reached down and said, now look, what you did was not what you should have done. You should have done something like that. I mean, what, what, what did you actually think that was accomplished? What was funny about it? I said... I was pissed off and I, I did hit you, but I'm willing to shake hands with you and, and, and call it even. Because what you did was even, it wasn't a violent act, it was a, a stupid thing. If I had a drunk dad, what would that accomplish? You thought it was really funny. Was that funny? Was it actually funny? No. I mean, it's like me walking up to you and, and offering you a plate of spaghetti and in the back of that, my mind I know that I put I might have did something really unsavory to it. And I give it to you and let you eat it and you don't know it. And then it goes that I'm laughing and, I, and you ask me what I'm laughing about. I say, oh, I'm just thinking of something. And I know that I've done something that's not right to you. But I'm not going to die. But you're not going to die. But if, you, if I tell you about what I did, wouldn't it kind of cheese you all? Depends on how much I'm involved in it. Okay, but I mean, you for me, the, it, it you was get the bad, You get the bad karma out of that. I got the bad karma, but I, and in a sense I did because I felt bad about it. And even though my celestial didn't stop it to the degree that they wanted, they couldn't avert it. They tried. Earth. They tried to stop it. And but it's such an earthly thing to be involved with such celestial creatures. Does it still bother you, all these earthly it, Even now, I wish, it never, I wish it never happened, but it did. Okay? My celestial tried to, tried to suit it as far as what they could. They said, well, we, we, we tried, and, and you would have listened to it in, under normal conditions, but you're, you're sensitive. The guy you thought was your friend, showed you a side of him that you didn't really never expect to come out and, and see. So it surprised you? It surprised me that he would actually spit in a, in a soda water and think it was funny and, 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 and knowing he would just say, no, don't, don't drink that. I was going to do it just to laugh and see you get ready to drink it and, and then not stop it. How long ago was that? Oh, this was when I was a kid. I'm 59 years old now. And the dog was how old were you? When the dog was about um, 10 years while when I was over here. This happened 10 years ago, over, over at one of these houses down the street. Are you still attached to, to... That guy who, who, just, who hit my dog, or the guy, my neighbor? Have you let go of that? I let go of that. I let go of that, because this was a violent act that was because somebody hit somebody I love. Okay. The dog was my companion. And even though it, it wasn't a human, it was still my friend. Are you still being tested every day, like, on that same level? I get tested only in that each day I go out, okay, even in the day society, people will drive by the other car and yell the word 